Friends, 1000 days of war between Russia and Ukraine, a landmark though this is only a number. War continues. In southern war zone on Kharkov front no changes. In Zaporizhia Russian army has taken initiative and has started offensive on many fronts. In Urikhov sector Russians have advanced towards Nestor Yanka Belogoryi from east and south and Novo Andreevka area they have also started assaults towards Novo Darivka towards Zaporizhia DPR junction Russians have advanced towards south of Gulyaypol Velikaya Novosilka road towards east of Rozdolne and fight is on towards north of Makarivka that is Rimivka salient coming to east on Kurakho Pokrova sector Russians have advanced towards Pushkino Zarya and northwest of Pirovsky along railway approaching Pokrovsk from southern flank West of Solido Novo Alexeyevka is under Russian army now as per their MOD North of Kurakho fight is on for Sundsovka Russians have advanced from north and east of Voznesenka bypassing Sundsovka and have advanced towards Pustinka They have full control over Novaya Ilinka and reached Kurakhovsky reservoir Russians have entered Beretsky from north and east in south Kurakho Russians have advanced from Dalyny which is under its control to Uspinovka from north and south direction and also towards Trudovoye and north east of Maximivka and south east of Yelizavetivka Turisk fight is on in the center of the city while Bakhmut Chasiya Russians have made advance almost 700 meters in the or towards the center of Chasiya in Siver sector Russians have advanced north of Zolota Revka towards Siversky north east that is Kupiansk Swato Kremina heavy fight is on in Kupiansk as Russian army has entered large metal plant now as i had stated yesterday also that fight for kupians is on and as far as swato krimina line is concerned positional battle continuing north of kharkov that is towards slobozansky and even towards satnitsky kozachok no changes coming to kursk both armies had some gains in kurnovo district where russians recaptured forest area south of crimea noe and fully took over ulgoskaya roshka which was like a pocket and ukrainian armies were trapped in sudza district ukrainians recaptured most of plekho and part of forest area east of plekho interdiction missions russian army continuing its operations deep inside ukrainian territory targeting ukrainian energy infrastructure like in nukulevka near kramatorsk odessa kirovograd cherkask and sumy while ukrainians are continuing launching their drones deep inside russian territory like even close to moscow and tula regions As per an information Ukrainians carried out 1500 plus attacks from January to October this year assessing the overall situation ISW says that Russian army advance in eastern Kupiansk central Chasiyar Kurakho Ugledar and also their offensive operation continuing in Kursk region Palestine Lebanon Israel Middle East Hezbollah launched ballistic missiles and hit Tel Aviv causing huge fire while IDF carried out series of air strikes on border and in rear Lebanon 
like Beirut, Tire, etc. IDF ground operation against Lebanon continuing in border Qiyam in northeast while in western sector it is trying to push forward towards Mediterranean coast. Coming to Gaza in central location Hamas RPGs hit IDF tank and bulldozer near Al Burez camp. While IDF has struck many targets in Gaza, in southern Gaza, IDF has made some marginal gains south of Tel Al Sultan area in Rafah. IDF continues launching airstrike in Syrian regions. It is a surprise to me why Syrian air defense is not capable of intercepting these fighters from Israel and even their missiles. Where is their sovereignty? Why US military base still exists in Syria, siphoning a large amount of oil from there? Imperialist and Zionist regimes have definitely some aim to make American military base in Arab countries much wider, what they call it, Greater Israel. In the meantime, Abghazia president has resigned and huge protest continuing in Georgia against the so-called fake elections. Of course, being monitored, funded and guided by the Western powers. War is continuing between Sudanese army and the rebellions. Who is funding them and who is guiding them? Well, that's secondary question. Or is that primary one? In the meantime, YouTube continues restricting my channel and not allowing it to reach to you. And that brings an end to my talk to dear friends. Almost similar time. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.